All right, you guys, welcome back to the channel. Today is gonna to be a very interesting video. Now, behind me uh, is Mike's 1997 Toyota Land Cruiser. We're gonna go into a bunch of the details of this build. As you can see, it is immaculate. It's insane, and this one in particular uh, actually has less than 10,000 original kilometers on it. Let's take a second to let that sink in. That's crazy. So let's get into it. We're gonna take it for a drive and see how it is. Yeah, I'm watching the rise, and I wouldn't say I'm shocked because I'm hardly surprised. This one's for the ride. This one's for who knew I make it, just needed some time. Hey, my name is Mike, and this is my uh, 1997 Land Cruiser Fire Truck. What got you into Land Cruisers? This is this is my biggest question for you because, like, it started off as a fire truck. You you have other cars that have nothing to do with off roading. <laughs> Absolutely nothing to do with it. Yeah, uh, a friend of mine brought it up. He's like, we could turn this fire truck into a real truck, and uh, it looked like a lot of work. And we were like, 19, who cares? Let's do it. Yeah. So it was like. A year process or so, a bunch of messing around late nights. A fire trucks specifically, um, pretty easy because they're always, they get rid of them for 10,000 kilometers. Like they're um, quite often a 3.5 grade or up. Like they're, they're barely used, they sit there. So they're all in really good condition. Like I haven't really seen a fire truck where I'm like, ooh, that's a bad one. Like they're all, they're all clean. That's why people start with them. Like, did you ever consider just driving around a fire no, truck? No. Absolutely not. <laughs> My buddy who I built it with, he drove his around for a while like that, and I was always bugging him. He's like, we gotta get that box off. 40 bolts, 20 welds holding the box on, maybe. Uh, it was a big mess. So these were all, it was all pumps back here. So we had to remove pumps, remove the box. Uh, it had a high roof because uh, the floor was raised up for a PTO shaft that ran through. And there was also a pump there uh, that was uh, supplying oil for the uh, water pumps. So we had to cut the floor out, cut the roof off. We cut these off. The way that it was finished, it was flat. It just looked like a commercial truck. Like it just kind of looked like poop. So uh, we wanted the factory ones. So we got this from a 79 series truck. Uh, roofs from a 79 series. Um, and then we got the back panel with the window because it didn't have one. Mm -hmm. It was just like steel plate. This is a full size box and uh, we cut it down. It is actually for this truck, but the two door. Um, oh. And then we, we chopped it down. Uh, my friend Derek made custom box mounts, uh, custom tank mounts, raised it up. So the tank is like tucked way up there. So we're mixing like three different trucks together. <laughs> like I think the how it goes, like the, the frame's a 75, the body's a 76, and then I use 79 parts mm -hmm. to finish it off. Because I basically built a truck that you, you can't have. Like they, these don't really exist until uh, like 2012, you'll find them in Japan, mm -hmm. Dubai. I didn't do any fabrication on this. I helped rip it apart. Uh -huh. uh, I was mostly there to have a good time. Uh, it was Derek, my, uh, my good buddy, he, uh, he did all the fab work on here. Really good job. The, the original wheels are like a commercial tire, it's a split rim. Super, right. Super sketchy. Uh -huh. like, if you're going to change the tire on them, you got to do it in a cage, like a steel cage. Like they, they just blow up. You see videos of people in Indonesia like changing them and you always see them exploding. It's super sketchy. So I hated handling those things. I didn't even want it around. It was just like a, a bomb. But uh, these three-piece wheels, they were actually like perfect size and offset for this thing. Like it was like they're meant for the truck. They're uh, 16 by eight, negative three. And then I just scored a wicked deal on these online. The uh, Opat threes, Toyos. Oh, sick, nice. They're really nice. They ride really quiet. That's key. See, this is a street truck. It's a street truck, you know? yeah. It's not going, not going in the bush. Yeah. Maybe the next owner, they can, they can put it in the bush. Uh-huh. <laughs> I can't really bring myself to do it. Yeah, pull that one. Yeah. Yeah, now you got power. 
Uh, oh, and then it's got a choke on it too. No, you don't have to worry about okay. it. Okay. That's actually an eyelid control. Oh, I see. Okay. Which is used for the PTO, which is right here. So you can uh, you can adjust the idle. What do you got? Oh my God, there's a bunch of like, <laughs> a bunch of uh, Japanese writing and some bells. What else do we have? A fan, it looks like. Most of all, this is key right here. That's amazing. <laughs> what does that say? A dream car. We'll pull it. Oh, yeah. nice, sick. Everyone needs a, a sweater for their shift knob. Wow, fires right up. I'm excited. This is like this is not something I've always I've always loved like uh, H1s for instance. Yeah. And like older G wagons, just the look of them. But I've never actually really got really into off roading. So that's like a cool version of a Hummer. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> although when you pull up on a gas station or a rest stop in this, people come to you and like ask questions about it versus like, oh, that's a drug dealer. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Greenpeace, save yeah. the planet. <laughs> Wow, you are not kidding. That's this is the easiest car I've ever driven. Yeah, you can't fuck it up. Like, there, there, there's no chance you could like stall it or anything. That's ridiculous. That's like a, a brand new Honda Civic clutch feel kind of thing. It's nice. It's like a tractor with synchros. Oh wait, did I miss third? No, I got third. Okay, so no power steering. Nope. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. There we go. Yeah, definitely no power steering. Takes a little bit. But that's the thing, it steers and drives how it looks. 100%. You gotta work for it. Yeah. Yeah, other than the clutch off the line, that's like, I, I, I get it why you daily this now. Is that 4,500 red line accurate? Like, is that, yeah. that's factory? Oh, oh yeah, sweet. definitely. It's smooth, though. Super smooth. It's got, you know, there's a little bit of play on center. It's It's got a little bit of, I mean, what I would expect. And then it really gets heavy once you get into it. Try to one one hand it. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Is one of your arms bigger than the other yet? No, I gotta switch it up. It looks like a weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> oh there we go. I got it in third. It's it's a little bit you gotta push it yeah, a little the, bit to with the, the right. Angle, it's probably third's like the weirdest one for yeah. sure. It is a little bit tracker like. Oh yeah, it's pretty good. It's got torque. Yep. Still plenty of headroom, even though it's brought down a little bit, or a lot actually. A lot, yeah. yeah. But the, they didn't modify any of the, the seats up front. That was all like stock level. When you look at all of the most like iconic kind of, or at least what I think of the original big uh, like off-road, okay, you've got the, the Land Cruiser, of course. We've got, yeah, the high high Lux. Wow, I'm just fucking on the other <laughs> goddamn lane. <laughs> it's like, I'm on I'm on center. You, I'm yeah, like, you have to drive it different in the car. It's hilarious. It's yeah, totally like, different. I was like, where's the steering? You got to read the corners up ahead. Yeah. Ride the apex, you know? Yeah. Once you get into it, it's once you get into the actual, you can feel the steering, then you're like, oh, I have some uh, precision, I guess. Yeah, you're going to get into a normal car now and it's be like, this is much too sensitive. <laughs> Yeah, I yeah I cannot be as lazy as I was around that corner. Um, when I think of like, okay, you've got your H1s, you've got your Humvees, you've got your original G wagons and stuff like that. But I think Land, what Toyota did was they just made them so robust from the beginning that like, like you know when Hummer brought back the uh, they brought out the, the H2 and the H3 and they completely just ruined like Hummers. yes yeah. they ruined the Hummer name. There was nothing left from the Hummer that made it a Hummer. It's, like, it's supposed to be a Humvee. It's supposed to be an army truck. Like, yeah. Plain Jane. And they kind of like, they use that pedigree to just get more buyers in. But then now with the new, you know, the new, uh, have you seen the new Hummer H uh, or oh, EV? Oh yeah. I think that'll possibly sell better than all their other ones. I don't know who asked for the H2. <laughs> uh, mid 2000s rappers who got their signing bonus. That could be possible. <laughs> it's so true though, but the, with the Land Cruiser, it is so abundantly clear what this is for, right? Crossing Africa. Yes, hell yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Did you have any moment along the way where you're like, what the? <laughs> oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, when it was like when we first got it and we saw like how the pump was installed, we we're just like, how the hell are you gonna get this pump out? 
Like if we had like an automotive show, we'd never show anyone how we got the pump out because we'd look like such like unprofessionals. Like at one point we had an ax out. So. <laughs> That's so Actually, funny, funny story. The, uh -huh. I was driving and this guy chased me down on a road bike. Uh -huh. And when I was driving this thing, he was just like yelling at me to stop. And I stopped and he's basically, he said, I worked at the uh, Takata factory for 20 years and I built these fire trucks. So he knew exactly what it was. And he's like, what did you do with the pump? And I was like, well, I scrapped it. It was worth like 600 bucks. And he's like, you scrapped it. He's like, that was a work of art. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, I know. But it was like this, it was solid brass pump. Like, uh -huh. it, was, it was insane. It was a work of art. Because we couldn't figure out how to get it apart. Like, it, was, it was like a puzzle. Yeah. And yeah, he was pretty bummed out that we scrapped it, but we scrapped it. What are the chances that you've run into that guy? I don't know. It's super <laughs> weird. Yeah. It's uh, it's still not done. It's like 90% done. Yeah, it's a 4.2 liter 1HZ. What did you have to do suspension wise to, uh, to kind of compensate for the lack of weight? Uh, take out the overload springs. And then we did uh, old man emu uh, struts in the in the rear and uh old man emu leafs uh and factory strut in the front and we did the like drop shackles and it's it's leveled out a little nicer the front end was really low when we got it had a big drag stance yeah <laughs> it was just a spray in bed liner okay i sprayed her in yeah seems uh, fairly durable there'll be nothing going in the back of this bed so <laughs> <laughs> no uh no uh, masked men with uh, rifles. Nope. <laughs> nope. No gunner seat yet. No. We were thinking about it. Uh huh. I noticed this uh, timing belt light on the dash too. Yeah, it lets you know when you're getting a little stretched out. And actually, because it's a fire truck uh, and a government vehicle in Japan, uh huh. They do all the maintenance by the year and by the month. Oh, not so, by kilometers. No. So this is at. Full bottom end service, like everything's yeah, like brand new. <laughs> if anything like needs replacement, they just do it. What the heck? It's a government vehicle, right? So yeah, yeah. I mean, that was that, that you got the ultimate starting point. Yeah. And there's some noticeable upgrades too in the '79 uh, that I'd like to have, which uh, they have a they have coil over in the front. So oh, they have okay. No leaf spring in the front. Yep. Um, which would be a lot nicer. Yeah. Um, this is fairly old technology. It's like a wheelbarrow, but <laughs> yeah, just as I after I made that comment about it, it, it is smooth because it's you know it's, it's super fresh. It's just real old technology. Yeah, and like it's when you're on a smooth road, it's it's marvelous. It's like over those you only really notice that okay, I'm definitely riding on leaf springs. Yeah, when it's going over some of the bigger stuff. Yeah, throttle feels good though. Like it's 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 not what I would call like punchy. But it feels, I love to get, like, there's a good connection between the right, my right foot and exactly, like, when the power is getting sent to the yeah, wheels, you know? Yeah, no delay. They have torque right away. Yeah. I think the road noise is what's surprised me the most, or the lack of road noise. Yeah, it's not too bad. Like, I, there's, there's really not much for sound ending. Um, no. It's really just got door cards. And this, uh, the vinyl flooring is pretty thick. It's got insulation as well. Yeah. And I've coated it as well, but uh, I'm gonna do sound deadening on the roof and then the, the headliner. And it should be pretty good. A lot of the noise definitely reverberates through the roof. Yeah, well, this was fun, man. Thank you. Absolutely, man. Thanks for the drive, bro. This is uh, not not the fastest vehicle, but something that not a lot of people uh, ev literally ever get to experience. No. Nope. So. Well, you can take her in the weeds. Oh yeah. All right, sweet. <laughs> <laughs> we got stuck there and got a truck in this little mud patch. All right, where can people follow you? And if you guys are local, definitely hit up Mike, uh, Forthright Trading, for your import needs. Yep, on Facebook and Instagram. You, what have you brought in recently? Uh, lots of S15s. I got a boat arriving right now with the uh, Evo 7. Ooh, a. Uh, High jet super jumbo on Watanabe's. Yeah. I've done that one. A few cars going to the States. Chaser, uh, Mark II. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit me up on Instagram. Uh, and I'm sure, yeah, maybe we do a video on your Varietta at some point. Down. When, when the engine's running, I guess. When she's running. <laughs> Sweet.
Thanks, guys. See you soon.